Hello, welcome back. DJ Vic Vapor with you, Bitwig Studio 2 Beginners Course. In this lesson or tutorial, I want to talk a little bit about automation and some of the ways we can record automation in or manually uh, set up our automation. So, first of all, if you remember from previous lessons or tutorials, we talked a little bit about setting up our personalized or custom toolbar up here. This little guy right here with the square box around it shows me that I have my... Um, automation right for clips ready to go right here just by a push of a button and the way I've set that up is down here off the play menu I went to automation right and I selected the pin which pinned it to the top of my toolbar there so it's ready to go if I launch the clip and in this particular uh, clip we're gonna automate some delay let me I'll let you hear the uh, MIDI loop without the delay first So there you see, that's just a simple little piano loop, polysynth preset, and we've got some delay here, and we're just going to automate the mix. We're going to record some movement from the mix in and widen that sound and get some delay happening. So I'll turn it on, I'll hit play, and then I'll enable my automation right, and I'll begin to move the mix button. And as I do that, you'll see a red dot appear to indicate that there's some automation being recorded. So it's as simple as that. Let's go back now and open up the clip here. And we'll select our automation here, or we can put it, push A, the letter A, and I'll make this a little larger. So there, it shows the uh, delay information we just recorded in. Pretty sweet. That is how you can record in your movement or your automation. And here, depending on what devices you have on that channel, you can select uh, different devices here as well. But it's usually going to bring up the last knob that you touched on that device. It'll bring it up and have it ready to go for you. So let me um, undo that recording. And let's take a look at I'm going to go back to the channel here. I'm going to turn off the delay. And we will go back to A. I do that by pressing A on the keyboard there. So now we've got our choices here. So I'm going to pick mixer and volume. And if I wanted to, I can put a dot here. Now the volume is set at minus 6 dB there. And if I wanted to the volume to increase over time throughout the clip, I could come to the other end here and just simply put another dot and raise it up. And then the automation or the volume would increase over the length of the clip. If I wanted that to be a little bit more smooth, hold down the um, option key and hover over the line. You see the um, cursor change. And now it's allowing me to bend the line and create shapes and curves. All right, so we can also, if I wanted to, I can grab number three or my pen tool, and now I can just kind of get rid of these dots. I can actually, if you've got your pen tool engaged, you can draw freely. I'm just scribbling along here and it's all volume control. Now it, it's pretty congested with the, um, you know, the uh, individual points of automation. But when I let go of my mouse, currently I've got it clicked, held. And now it smooths that out. I let go of the mouse, click, and now it's all smoothed out. So that's a great way to do some freehand automation if you choose. Now, if I didn't want this particular shape to be, you know, that particular way, what I could do is go ahead and grab my eraser, number four. And what we'll do 
is hover over some areas like this, hold click and hold drag, and you see how it gets a little different shape there when I let go. Now it changes that. So you can create some pretty unique shapes using your eraser tool. And that is working with automation. And you can obviously, if you wanted to, you could smooth these out a little bit. You know, you can bring this down and then again, hold the option key here and, you know, bend these a little bit if you want smoother transitions. So you can really get in here and define some really unique shapes for your different automations. So we're working with the volume, but if I wanted to, I could have picked the delay and then any of the parameters within the delay. So pretty good flexibility within automation. All right. Thanks for hanging out. Let's move on to the next lesson.